Hello, I'm Professor Mu Mu. I'm a professor in computing at the Faculty of Arts, Science and Technology. Here uh, we have the state-of-the-art AI lab where we provide uh, a perfect combination of specialized hardware and software platforms for our students to study artificial intelligence, cloud computing and applied data science. On the hardware side, each one of the machines we have in the AI lab is equipped with the top of the range graphics processing unit from NVIDIA. As you know, it's a world leader in AI computing. So we have that so students can always have the, have the high performance computing uh, at reach. And the hardware is paired with a range of uh, software platforms for students to do a range of tasks using, you know, to do machine learning uh, and, and cloud computing. We custom this um, AI lab and uh, we have everything ready, ready available for students to come here. They simply need to just log into the machines. They can focus on developing their skills and you know, maybe work on their AI, AI project without worrying about the underlying uh, infrastructure and preparation of the tools. Hello, I am Jatin Arora. I am a first year student of uh, the course Artificial Intelligence and Data Science at the University of Northampton. So I'm also the president of the uh, Artificial Intelligence Society. I, I just wanted to talk about this AI lab in particular since I've spent my whole first year here. So I've realized that you know this, this lab has helped me a lot as well as the support of the professors has been very, very good. I was able to start into research and now I'm planning to do my own personal research project which will help me to become an undergraduate researcher. <laughs> It's a natural language processing uh, related to the field of natural language processing. So basically this project is for psychologically unstable patients and it is made for uh, made to help you know psychological clinics so that they can re they can assess their patients and track their progress going further. So if you can see that this model particularly can detect what kind of negative feeling you are getting from uh, from analyzing your text data basically and before this we I have also built a classifier which can judge that whether you are feeling positively neutrally or negatively and if you, if you are feeling sad and anxious our model will automatically put your data into this to judge which of the five different categories that is anxiety depression eating disorder suicide is related to you and you know you can get a very good assessment of what you are actually feeling i can use extensive data data cleaning functions here this whole function which has been written here cleans from emojis to all of the uh, you know semicolons numbers everything and it, it actually processes your data very very quickly so if you can see this like processing uh, 250 rows per second it's a social media platform i developed for my dissertation it basically does anything any other platform would do i added some um wow features and factors to make it like unique and outstanding posts so you could set the visibility to public only friends or only me and you could add the content, what you want to post. This has a messaging functionality, whereby you could send messages to your friends. 